Here's the Ernie Ball Music Man Steve Morse uh, Y2D guitar that I'm selling. I posted lots of pictures, but I wanted to do a video just to make sure everyone sees, you know, no one's surprised with anything, but I'm gonna try to get, you could see there are either no or very, very minimal pick swirls on the body here. Um, however, the pit guard, there's tons. You can see there's some angles. Now someone that knows what they're doing could probably buff that out of the pit guard or replace the pit guard. But as soon as you play it, you're gonna get more scratches on there. But, um, but anyway, around the body here though, you can see a little bit there, but there's no major dings, dents, anything. Uh, so the fretboard, and I will post some pictures for the fretware, which there is some, um, completely usable though. Um, lots of life left in it. I don't even notice that when I'm playing headstock matches. Um, stock DiMarzio, Steve Morse pickups, stock bridge, a couple marks here and there from things. But if we look over at the back, now this I, I don't understand this really. Most of my other guitars have lots of light scratches on the back from where you know, your shirt button, your belt buckle, whatever. I played this one live a few times and there's really, I don't see anything on there. Or if I do, again, or if you do, I mean it's, it's very minimal if there is anything. You can see a little bit of some marks there, uh, serial number back of the neck, subtle flames, no marks at all, uh, locking tuners. And then this is just a random serial number, which I'll, I'll post a picture of this, but you can see that it was made on October 14th, 2015, finished tobacco burst, chrome hardware, blah 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 the next page is just uh, how the controls work which is pretty easy I don't know if you're familiar with the other Steve Morse model but that takes some uh, getting used to the switching not on this one though it's pretty easy to understand um, so beautiful quilt top no problems um, just moving on to another guitar that's all uh, I have a a small stack of them and I swap out every so often. Um, great sounding guitar. I'll post a video of me playing it too with a, a band I set in with recently. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out.